In this tutorial, we will look at how you can turn on the interactive Microsoft Whiteboard during a Microsoft Teams meeting. All right, so here I am in a Teams meeting, and I've got my toolbar down here at the bottom to control different aspects of my meeting. In order to launch the Whiteboard, I'm going to click the Share icon here, where I can then see my options for what I would like to share in this meeting. In this case, I want the whiteboard, which is off to the far right here. You'll see the big blue tile, Microsoft Whiteboard. I'm going to go ahead and click there. The whiteboard will load up, and you notice I'm getting an option to either get the Windows app or to continue using online. You need to go ahead and continue using online or just wait, and it will go ahead and load up. When the whiteboard loads, off to the right, you have your toolbar for your drawing tools. So we have our different colors here. We have our eraser. And then at the top is the uh, move control button. When you need to move uh, in and out of your whiteboard, you can pinch to zoom in and out. Uh, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to go ahead and select a pen. And as long as you have a touch screen computer, you can begin writing right on your touch screen. And so you can work on different problems with students in your class. You could call on them to suggest an answer to the problems, or you can have them actually draw on the whiteboard because everyone in the meeting can draw on this whiteboard, even all at the same time if they wanted to. So I could say, hey, students, what do you think the answer is to this? Go ahead and write an answer anywhere on the screen and put your initials next to it. So this is just one example of how you can use the whiteboard. Um, and as I said, the, the button at the top here is my move tool. So when I click on that, I can now pinch and zoom in and out, or I can uh, drag left and right up and down to move my whiteboard around. All right, so another thing here you can do is you can go into your settings when you're done, and you can export this as an image to save it, but know that this also saves in your Whiteboard account within your uh, Whiteboard online app. Now you might be asking, well, where, where do I get to the online Whiteboard app? Well, there's two ways. One, you can see here there's an option to open an app. This is actually the Windows desktop app of Whiteboard, but there's also an online version. And the way, the way you get there is you're gonna open your browser and you're going to go to office.com. You're going to sign in with your uh, company account. And then what you'll see here is all your apps. If you don't see the whiteboard app, you're going to click on the uh, waffle icon and you're going to search for it here. You can go to all apps and it's alphabetical. So you can scroll on down to whiteboard. So here's the whiteboard online app i can also get this get the to this from office.com and you can see here this is the whiteboard that i created in the meeting that i'm current i'm still in um, i can create a new one from here for other purposes uh, and these are great for creating screencasts so you can just bring up a new whiteboard uh, and start drawing and create your own screencast of an instructional video. So a wonderful tool, the Whiteboard app, and that is how you use it during a Microsoft Teams meeting.